this crying thing when he gets out of the crate. I think he's just so happy to be out of there. I don't know. Right now it is 4.55. I have my brown noise on. Oh my gosh, guys, my voice. I literally just woke up. Come on, come on, come on. We cannot waste a second, otherwise he will pee his pants. Come here, pee his pants. Guys, I'm like not awake right now. Oh my gosh, pee on the floor, I mean. Oh, I almost forgot, we do have snow. Hey, 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 you know the rules. Snuggle puppy does not come outside. <laughs> This vlog is getting off to a great start. Asher, potty. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is such a good boy. Then I always give him a minute to see if he has to poop too, because he'll be pooping within an hour, but he never, he's just so excited for a snuggle puppy. All right, there you go. You know the rules, take it inside. <laughs> I feel like this is my first time actually sitting down and talking to the vlog. Our mornings, they don't start out chaotic, but they definitely start out like full throttle. What matters now though, is I have my morning liquids. These are so essential to me. I just have a tea. Honestly, this tea is decaffeinated. I've been actually going caffeine free lately and water is essential. And actually I'm about to, in about like an hour or so, drink my AG1, which is actually a switch from how I used to do it. I'll talk more about it later, but that is essential for me as well. And of course he has to choose the most noisy toy ever, which can I just show you guys? Can I, can I show him? Let me show him. This is on Amazon. It's like nine bucks. One of his favorite toys ever. It has like this like crinkly factor to it. <laughs> One minute, Ash. It has like this crinkly factor and it squeaks. Get it. <laughs> and whenever he like shows any effort, I give it to him right away. I'm like, you deserve that. But yeah, this is a little controversial what I've been doing because people have been saying like, don't, okay, is there any other toy you could use? Any toy I have, he automatically wants. Oh shoot, get it. But I know people have said like, don't wake up when he wants to wake up. Like you should be in control. But listen, the problem is as soon as so he'll start like crying a little bit around like 5 a.m. because he has to pee. He's actually been sleeping through the whole night, which is so amazing. He's, by the way, almost three months as we speak. So he's like two months and three weeks and he is a boxer German shepherd mix. He's already gotten so much bigger than when we first got him. And whenever I go to like let him out to pee, I just fall so in love with him. And like, I can't go back to bed. Like I just can't, like I have to be with my Ash. So that is what we have been doing. And for those of you who are new here, he was actually born in the back of a car, a man had his mom, like owned his mom, and the mom ended up having puppies in the back of a car. The man is in jail. The puppies went to a rescue group. I was scrolling on Facebook one day. I've been interested in getting a dog for probably like four or five months now, four, five, six. And I saw the puppies and was just like, oh my gosh, to be honest, Asher isn't the one I originally wanted. I'll put up on the screen the one I originally wanted because I grew up with boxers and this one really looked like a boxer, but someone had actually already taken that puppy. Blessing in disguise, like when I say I was meant to be with Ash, like he is literally like my soulmate, except <laughs> maybe that's a little weird considering he helped my leg this morning. He's never done that, okay? Like that, that is not, that does not fly at this household, okay? That was weird. When we picked him up, it just was so meant to be. He is a boxer German Shepherd and the German Shepherd makes so much sense. He is so smart. I trained him on the bell system in less than a day. Like I introduced it to him one night, the next morning he was ringing the bell to go pee outside. Like how? And that was before I even found out he was a German Shepherd. They are known to be very smart. Like I really have been taking the time to train him. I've been trying really hard. 
um, every morning we wake up and we just do like I just want to keep him mentally stimulated like you'll see we do physical playtime later but in the morning I try to do just like mental stimulation which I think he really likes well he really likes the treats but especially like as a German Shepherd that's very important and if you ever do a rescue I really do recommend doing the DNA test just because it really does help to know what breed they are to know what they need every breed needs something different maybe your dog hey what are you doing don't eat my book what are you doing what are you doing you want to be with mom a little bit one thing we are working on but I don't even like really know how to work on it he definitely has attachment issues with me where like even if Zach were to be up right now that wouldn't be good enough he would just be crying trying to break through the bedroom to get to me so that is something that a lot of people say like just puppies pick a person and eventually he can grow out of it but he's definitely currently in that phase which like isn't the worst thing in the world because I love him so much but he definitely just needs to be okay with me not being here all the time. So this is honestly just like our morning cuddles time where I'm probably going to read. I'm currently reading One by One by Ruth Ware. So far it is great because she is like the best author ever if you like thrillers. And we're just gonna have a little bit of cuddle time, relax. I have to say I'm a huge morning person as it is. I went to bed at like 8.15 last night, by the way. And he has really brought out like my, my morning side. Like I just love these mornings before the sun comes up when it's super dark outside. I forgot how much I loved this, so it actually has been amazing. I don't know about you guys, but I often feel so much pressure to, as soon as I wake up, get up, start going. Like, if I'm not working out and being productive within 20 minutes of waking up, like, I just feel bad about myself. And since I got Asher, it really has allowed me to just slow down, enjoy the moments, like we enjoy spending time together. And it really has shown me, I don't need to have this crazy productive routine. I get all of my work done. Not to mention, because I am up so early, I have a lot of extra time but after we get in all of our cuddles Zach eventually wakes up which is always nice they love spending their time together and then after that I start getting my workout stuff together get ready and then I feed Asher and I make it a point I don't feed him right when we wake up because I don't want him to turn into an annoying dog that's just crying because the second he wakes up he knows he'll get food I make sure to wait a little bit so he doesn't associate waking up with food and I also try to take away his food from him just so he doesn't become territorial which so far he's doing really good with this good boy good boy oh my gosh so i finally caved and i got asher one of those slow feeder bowls to slow him down when he eats in the time it took me to turn on and set up my camera which is no time at all he's done he already finished eating like that <laughs> he's just such a fast eater but one thing that has changed since i got a puppy is i now drink my ag1 before my workout it used to be like a little workout reward for me but now, I think it's just because I'm up so many hours, like obviously I'm up two or three hours before I used to get up. It just feels so good to go into my workout with it. Like I feel like it's a pre-workout reward. And you guys know, I've been drinking AG1 for months now. I'm so excited I get to work with them on this video. I have honestly converted so many people in just my everyday life to start drinking AG1. It's just, honestly, when you do the research, it's just such a no-brainer. So Carly, what did she send me? Carly texted me not too long ago saying she finally decided to try AG1. She said, it was actually my dad who influenced her. If he backs it, it must be good. If the man who has the same lunch every single day for his whole adult life backs it, I feel like that says so much, which is very true. My dad is very, very, very picky with what he puts in his body and he's obsessed. And then Zach's mom also texted me saying after two weeks of AG1, her nails are strong, her hair is softer, her skin is more even. So weird, I'm sold. Which AG1 just has so many good things in it. I'm not gonna try to understand or know how they pack everything in it. It has, what is it, 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. So I'm talking prebiotics, probiotics, magnesium, B vitamins, like all of these things that in an ideal world, we would be getting in our three meals a day or however many meals we eat, but I can guarantee you, you are not. Like, there's just no way. And I'm a pretty healthy eater, but you're just not getting all of this goodness. And it's just so nice that it's just one scoop. Dump it in my little drink. I do eight ounces of water. I mean, you could change how much water you do. It's just all about how like strong you want the taste to be, which by the way, can we talk about the taste? I was so nervous trying this. I knew it'd be good for me. Like that wasn't the problem. I was scared it was gonna taste bad. I can't do bad tastes. I just can't. This tastes like a pineapple vanilla-y 
really just like a fruity taste that I crave. Like I genuinely look forward, not to just the way this makes me feel, which by the way, we could talk about that, but just like the, the taste. And I think it's my body like associating all of the good stuff that's in it with wanting that taste. Like I've heard like your body craves certain things that it needs and this just has so much in it. So as for the results, I mean, this stuff just gives you so much energy. I'm currently caffeine free. Like I haven't had caffeine in a couple of weeks. And I honestly do believe that if you are getting what you need nutritionally, like I'm talking like all of your micronutrients, you don't need caffeine. Like I genuinely believe that. So it helps with energy, also helps your immune system, your heart health. Um, skin, hair, nails, like all of it. It is all about foundational nutrition, whole body nutrition. So it's not like you're just targeting this or that, you're targeting the whole body. And that is why I love it so much. And I feel like a lot of people, they might think it's for people in their 20s or 30s. It is literally for every age, like young people, older people, obviously my dad drinks it, I drink it, Carly drinks it. Like it doesn't, there's no age, there's no gender, there's no like specific person. It's just anyone who wants to feel better, wants to really, take charge of their health and put good stuff into your body. So as always, I do have a little promo, a little gift that they are going to be giving you if you want to sign up today. I will have the link below. And with your first purchase, you will get a free vitamin D3 and K2 dropper thing, which how much of this have I gone through so far? This is huge for me. A lot of people are low on vitamin D. It's just a thing when I did my blood work. I found out, this was months ago, I'm, it's uh, it's normal now just because I've been taking this, but I was very deficient. My doctor was very concerned. Uh, this thing helps so much. It's just a little dropper thing. I haven't taken mine yet this morning, so I can show you. You just literally put it on your tongue, like just in your mouth and it just like absorbs. So anyway, you will get a free year supply of this, which is, I can't even tell you, huge. And then you will get five free travel packs. I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'm going to get in a workout. And I can actually hear the music blasting downstairs. Zach has already started his and I am gonna be doing a basement workout today. As you guys know, I usually go to Burn Boot Camp for my workouts, but especially when Zach's home, sometimes I opt for a nice little basement workout and also, Throughout the workout, I will run around with Asher, so it's like a two for one, making sure he gets all of his energy out, especially with all of the snow on the ground and just how cold it is outside. That makes it a lot harder for him to play. I cannot wait for spring and summer with him. Like, I'm just so excited for us to actually enjoy being outside because he doesn't mind the cold, but I sure do. <laughs> so I struggle when we go outside when it's like 20, 30 degrees. But as for my workouts lately, honestly, I've been keeping them super simple. Working out doesn't have to be this crazy elaborate thing. It's fun, especially when I go to burn boot camp for us to switch it up every class. So they do incorporate a lot of like weird or crazy movements, different weights or, you know, pieces of equipment. That's just to switch it up for like our brain. But honestly, all you need is the simple things. I just have a couple of dumbbells, a medicine ball, and you're good to go. So I've really been enjoying my workouts lately, especially just now that they are so simple. Like sometimes you just gotta go back to the basics. Full disclosure, we did not get very far on our walk. It is just, it's not even the snow that's the issue, it's all ice already. It's so cold here in Cincinnati. So that was kind of a fail, but trust me, he is getting plenty of exercise this morning. Also, that's all Zach's laundry. I went to bed very early last night, so he didn't want to wake me by folding it in the bedroom, which was very nice. But anyway, I've decided, you know what? It's a snow day. It's so beautiful outside. As you can see, I'm obsessed with the snow on the trees. And then better yet, I just love the way our deck looks when it's just covered in snow. And I wanna do something special for that. So we are gonna be making vegan chocolate chip pancakes, which I have never made in my life, but I just Googled it. I have all the ingredients, which I'm very proud of. Like I love having a fully stocked kitchen. So here goes nothing. Well, actually I'm gonna shower first and then we will give it a shot.
kept every word you said. Zach, tell the vlog what you just said to me. Yeah, I said Clancy has to wait till I'm at my fattest right now to start dishing out some nice chocolate pancakes I would have killed for this just the last five years and now I'm trying to look at my meeting veggies and avocados. His quote was, of course when I'm at my fattest you start doing cool stuff. I'm not gonna lie, I already snuck a bite because I'm so freaking hungry. These are so good. I'm gonna have the recipe linked below. It's literally, like, it's insane. These are so good. I'm about to start getting ready, but one thing that's very important to note is that I always have my little helper right by my side. Like literally he's glued to me all day. This part of my morning routine does change on the day to day because there are some days, like if I'm editing all day, I'm obviously not gonna bother with makeup. And then some days just based on what I'm filming, I go more full glam. Today is just gonna be very like just natural. I just have to film one Instagram campaign, which just, I don't need to be full glam in. I've honestly just been trying to embrace the more natural makeup. Like I genuinely like the way it looks better sometimes. Like of course there's a place for full glam. I will always love full glam. Like I'm just, I'm that type of person, but I really just have loved like the more natural look. I also want to mention that what time you start your morning is totally up to you. You don't need to be like a four, 5 a.m. queen to be productive, not at all. I mean, if you looked at my morning, I got up before five, yet I have not done an ounce of work today. Like getting up early does not automatically mean you're more productive than other people. However, you really do need to zero in on are you a morning person? Are you a night person? If you are a morning person like me, getting up early makes sense because this is when I'm most productive. And like, for me, it's like the later half of the morning, like after nine. That's when I really start zeroing in on work. And that's when I force Asher to kind of like scram a little bit because I just need space. I can't tell you how much I value and cherish my mornings though, because working in news, like I just, for five years, I didn't get a morning. You know, I was waking up at 2 a.m. Like just rushing out the door. Like there was no time to like, you know, leisurely sip my tea and like, no, I was just the second I woke up, it was pure adrenaline and stress, honestly. And the fact that I can just like relax and settle into my day in a much less crazy way, I, do, I will never take it for granted, like ever. Also right now I actually am dealing with multiple pimples, which is um, very upsetting, but it happens. I will say though, my number one tip in life, and you can like see, that one here, even after I applied makeup, which is just my tinted skincare I'm doing today. Don't go crazy with covering it up because pimples are normal. Acne is normal. What's not normal is like the crusty concealer look over pimples. Like that would be shocking to see, right? Like if I'm looking at someone and I'm like, whoa, what's not shocking is, oh, you've got pimples, so do I, awesome. Like it's not a big deal, but I honestly think sometimes people make it a little bit worse than it needs to be. And as I get ready, I always listen to a podcast. Today I'm listening to How I Built This, amazing podcast. The guy, what's his name? His name is actually Guy, interviews people who are the founders of companies. They created some sort of business. And this week is Drunk Elephant's founder, Tiffany Masterson, which is super interesting. <music> I just finished doing my hair and makeup, which this right here is a routine that takes me less than a half hour. Super simple, super easy. That is how I like it. And normally I would start my work for the day in my office. You guys know this is the Clancy room. I love this place so much. I get a lot of questions asking why the couch is in front of the closet. Listen, it's just all about filming. It's a lot more aesthetic for the couch to be there as opposed to push against the wall where no one can see it when I'm filming in front of my vanity. Of course, we have this little guy right here, um, which I like the way it looks for now. And honestly, it doesn't prevent me from getting in my closet. Like, honestly, I never really go in this closet much. It's mostly like formal wear, like formal work dresses and whatnot. But yeah, normally I would start doing work in here, but I've actually changed my work routine slightly. Lately, I've actually been working out of Zach's office, which clearly this is a room that has been a little bit neglected in our house. I told him he could go for the gold with designing it. I mean, he's, He's not really that into like the decor type of thing, but I really think because I've been spending a lot of time in here, I might go ahead and like start sprucing things up a bit. And the reason I'm here, it's just so much easier with Ash because if he needs to go potty, the door is right there. He has the bell there. If we're up in my office, there's really no way for me to know when he has to go. So it's just been a lot easier working down here. And then also with Zach's new job, he's not remote anymore. So this office was really important for him when he was working fully remote, but 
he's no longer remote. I obviously am. So technically I kind of have two offices now and Ash is my little worker buddy. I know he's getting kind of big for me to be carrying him like this, but I am just taking it all in because I know you blink and suddenly your puppy is like 50 pounds and these moments are no longer there. So I'm just trying to take it all in. People talk about puppy blues, which is where like you regret getting your puppy. I haven't gotten there yet, but it gets hard, right? Like it's not easy. And I really, really, really hope in my vlogs, I'm not portraying it to be 100% easy. I have to say I have fallen in love in a way I never knew I could like the love I have for this little creature like I, guys like I've never felt it before in my entire life in my entire life but I do have to say like there are times he's just it's not even like he's bad sometimes he can be bad but like sometimes it's honestly just annoying I'm trying to get work done I'm trying to do things and he's just being a crazy boy so it's not 100% easy but I will say it's so unbelievably worth it. Why don't you go down and play? We're supposed to be spending time apart. Like that really is a thing I'm trying to do with the whole separation anxiety thing. But anyway, so right now it is 9 a.m. and I'm about to start work for the day. Just a lot of editing for today, which you guys know, it's one of my favorite days. And plus it's just like snowy outside, it's cold. I honestly don't plan on leaving my house at all today, which like those sometimes are like the best days. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my morning routine. It's nothing crazy. I try to keep these morning routines very realistic on here. I'm not trying to show you that I do this and that. And that. Like, it's just, it's very simple and it's what works for me and it's what makes me happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll once again have that link down below for AG1. If you guys want to try it out, you will get a free year supply of the vitamin D3 and K2 and five free travel packs. So anyway, with that being said, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.